The path to clean energy could run right through Central Texas. Earlier this month, the Department of Energy gave eight companies millions of dollars with the goal of building a fusion-powered power plant. And we have KXAN's Eric Henriksen joining us live in studio. And Eric, this partnership could be a big deal here for Central Texas. Yeah, it really can be. Good morning, guys. Hey, everyone. So Austin-based Focus Energy is one of the companies getting this money, and it will have 18 months to design a fusion power plant. If it succeeds, the federal government will give it more money. The ultimate goal is fusion-powered cities. Fusion power is what happens in our sun every single day. Two atoms are forced together by intense heat and pressure. When this happens, they release massive amounts of energy. The Austin Company plans to do this with lasers, of course, a method that's worked in the past. The universe doesn't want us doing fusion. The ability to confine something for just long enough to allow it to happen has proven to be, you know, one of the greatest challenges over the past, you know, 100 years or so. Now, the company says it's based in Texas because of the state's history in the energy sector and because it needs land. Lots of it. Last year, an experiment in California, which successfully created fusion energy, the lasers used to do it were, get this, three football fields long. And there were hundreds of these lasers, by the way. Later this morning on KXN Weather and Traffic from 7 to 9 on the CW Austin, we'll take a closer look at how Focused Energy plans to create fusion and the interesting fuel source they'll use that's around us every single day. Hmm. It, we're used to this concept of nuclear power, getting it from that source, so this is different okay. from that. Imagine atoms in my hands, all right? Mm. Fusion, we combine the atoms, we're forcing okay. them together, and they just release helium. Healthy, no, doesn't cause any problems, no pollution, no radiation. Fission, which is what we use in nuclear power, in nuclear reactors currently, takes atoms and rips them apart, oh. hmm. releasing dangerous radiation, dangerous energy, and has a lot of excess pollution So caused. it's the inverse of that. It's the inverse. One's clean, one's healthy, one causes damaging radiation. Oh. But pushing atoms together, the universe doesn't want us to do this. Okay. So we're basically breaking the laws of physics to do it, and when we do it, we create all this energy that could basically end all of our power problems wow. forever. Wow, that's really <laughs> yeah. exciting. And they've been doing it for about 100 years trying to figure it out, and now they've been successful, and now it's like, how do we make this success usable and scale for all it of and us? all that. Yeah, exactly. It's incredible. Really cool. Yeah. They just hope we don't mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> Not a whole lot of room for error in that. Let me tell you, they can't mess it up. Okay. If you do it, if you turn the lasers off, it just doesn't yeah, turn on. Yeah. It's like, that's why it's even better than radiation okay. or nuclear reactions yeah. because it's just. Okay. Right. There's wow. also a lot of land in Alaska, though. Well, yeah. <laughs> Maybe a little bit further on. Not in my backyard. Yeah. Just in case. Just I want the case. business, I want the power. <laughs>